Now understand something. My people in the Old Testament is not any Christian you know of, and not any church member you know of, and not a member of any church you're in. My people in the Old Testament is the children of Israel, the twelve tribes, quote, with any of the tribes of Israel whom I commanded to feed my people, Israel, saying, Why build ye not me a house of cedar? He never questioned him about that or asked for that. Now therefore, in view of the fact, therefore, now, now therefore, so shalt thou say to my servant David, here's the message he sends back through Nathan, thus saith the Lord of hosts, I took thee from the sheep coat, he's a shepherd, from following the sheep, to be ruler over, underline it, my people, in case you didn't get who his people are, dash, my people, dash, over Israel. In the Old Testament, God's people is a nation, and he's their father and calls them his firstborn, his son, as a nation. Now, you better get that. They keep trying to make the Old and New Testament the same. You can't possibly make them the same. The God's people in the Old Testament didn't include one Christian that you ever heard of. As a matter of fact, the word Christian doesn't occur in your Bible till late in the, in the book of Acts. There are no Christians, as, as you know them, mentioned anywhere in Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John, except prophetically, because he hadn't yet died on the cross. Moreover, I will appoint a place for my people, second time, my people, Israel. His people are not Mohammedans. His people are not Catholics. His people are not Greek Orthodox. They are not Protestants. My people are Israel as a nation. That privilege is given to Israel as one nation above all nations, and that's why everybody has a little bit of uh, anti-Semitism in them, envy, jealousy. Of all the nations, if you took 192 in the, uh, in the uh, gathering together nations, the League of Nations before, now, now that, that body now meeting in New York doesn't have one person in it who was my people Israel except unless it has some Jews in it. My people, if for the Lord in the Bible, is Israel. And they're not put away until the, the, the body of Christ takes their place. And when it does, the body of Christ doesn't take their place permanently. They're going to come back. They're already back nationally, but they're going to be back in the, the driver's seat very shortly. The word Jerusalem means city of peace. And all the struggle for peace you have in the downtown New York is just blather. And what it means is there's a war coming. It always has meant that. They've had one war. I've seen a list of the war that have taken place since they began to meet in downtown New York. And there's 81 of them listed. One of the greatest warmongering outfits that ever was put together by man trying to rebuild the Tower of Babel.